Hi friends, welcome to Tabletop Tonight. I'm Ruel, and on the tabletop right now is Flamecraft. Now, I'm going to be playing the solo game uh, today, but first, before we get going, I wanted to let y'all know that we've got plenty of cool stuff going on with Lucky Duck. I want to thank them for sponsoring the um, channel, for sponsoring the stream, and um, I'm doing a lot of Essen uh, streams uh, this week in honor of Essen Spiel. And uh, one of the things that we're um, talking about is um, Flamecraft. And now they have, this is the deluxe edition that they sent over to me. And I do want to let you know that, let y'all know that um, see, uh, the second uh, edition of uh, the Flame Tokens and the uh, Flame Tokens, Flamecraft uh, Tokens and uh, Bits Deluxe Components are going to be launched right after Essence. So if you mess up the first time, check out all this stuff right here. Uh, we got coins, um, deluxe components, all the cool biddies uh, that you know I, you're showing. I'm showing off the. This is series one that you'll see on the table being played today. But series two wooden tokens. They also have the giant size ones. So I'm playing with like regular size ones. You could have a shot at getting giant size ones as well. So in the links below, you can find. Um, uh, ways to um, get more information sign up to be notified uh, thanks to lucky duck games and um, uh, cardboard alchemy for that um, let me make sure i got all the notes here that i was talking about. yeah the larger size jumbo sizes pre-order more pre-order news will be available soon all right i want to again thanks to lucky duck for sponsoring let me get this mouse out of the way because we're going to play some flame crap Again, this is the deluxe version that they sent over, and uh, this is a playmat. And as you can see, it it's a nice, nice playmat. Um, the empty spaces here are going to be filled by different shops, and I'll talk about that in a second. But basically, what you're doing is you got these super cute, friendly dragons, folks, that you're going to be using to go to the different shops. And these different shops allow like, you get resources. You're going to bring in enchantments as well. There's magical, you know, nothing like a magical dragon, right? And uh, you're going to gather, uh, enchant, and hopefully s s increase your reputation reputation to be the best uh, dragon keeper in the land. Now, in the solo game, things are changed a little bit. You're going to set up as a three-player game, but you're basically scoring by yourself. Here's the score token. I'll be going to the score track here. And then at the end, uh, you get ranked. Now, what's really neat, and I'll show you this, if you score uh, 75 or more, you'll be able to unlock, you'll be uh, able to unlock achievements. So if you score 75 to 89, you get one achievement. Uh, 90 and up you get two and that's basically adding stuff to the deck of dragons changing out the shops and whatnot because they give you us a, um, a list of what you start with rather than the multiplayer game and two-player game uh, you you know just randomly choose uh, stuff after uh, um, you know depending on player count but here they give you specific ones that you can start with and then you go from there so I'm gonna jump into it um, you know, I want my dragons to be able to uh, go around the shops and help out all these wonderful people in the town. Uh, I, I love all the puns. Now, I should note this. When the game is actually set up, uh, you're going to have these here. So the stand, it looks like they're in the stands, the um, shops, and then the dragons would come over here like this. Uh, so that, as you can see, the top parts are, are like that. But in this case, I've done it just so it's easier. So And plus... It takes up a lot more room that my table allows and my camera. So I'm going to put the dragons like this so you all can read them. And you can't even see this entire shop here. So po uh, Potable Potions is there. Uh, you got the Fragile Reptile. My favorite, Draco Bell. Folks, come on. Draco Bell. Gotta love that. I'm assuming. Yeah, look. See, so you got the little dragon making little... I mean, it, they should be tacos, but it looks like little hot dogs or something. Uh, you have Critical Rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the baker of course but critical roles come on look at this cute baby drag or little dragon helping make how can you not go ah in this game everybody you're watching live ah and folks at youtube ah uh we also have uh the smith mart with wingnut the dragon and also uh the hello nursery yes and uh friends uh on youtube i record this live on chat and or live on chat, live on uh, Twitch, and we have uh, chat members who, you know, drop comments such as ah, ah, and ah. <laughs> Join us live sometime, will you, friends? Uh, you can click on the uh, description below and find out uh, when I'm streaming and uh, what I'm streaming as well. Okay, so moving right along, what else do we got? We've got um, the shops in town. 
we have our dragon. We're going to send our dragon out here to meet uh, some of the other dragons, the artisan dragons here. Um, we have uh, the special dragons here, and then we have enchantments. So on your turn, it's pretty easy. Uh, you're either going to gather or enchant. Uh, this is the solo help sheet. I'm going to show you the multiplayer. It takes you to different steps. So first, you're going to take your dragon and go to one of these shops. So let me bring this one down a little bit. So it's a little easier to see on camera. Okay, so I'm going to go to critical roles. So I just bring my dragon there. And the first thing you do is you're going to gather either goods, coins, or any dragons that are listed. So in this case, you have uh, two toasts. Two toasts. And you got to show off these wooden eagles. Look, I mean, you've got little wooden toast, folks. So I'm going to put one, two. And then eventually you're going to use those to cast enchantments on the shops. And that will allow you to do other cool stuff. So I've gathered. Now I may place a dragon um, from my hand there. So I have olive and elderberry. So what there to place a dragon here, you have to have the matching icon. So I have the leaf and I have like a little potion. Unfortunately, there's no leaf or potion here. Maybe I should have gone over here, right, to do that. But I wanted to gather some toast and I really wasn't thinking about it. So I just went to whatever looked cool. So I did it. So folks, think more strategically than I uh, did right there. Because I could have uh, placed a dragon there, but instead I didn't. So now I may um, fire up one ability. So I can fire up this one here. Uh, Pan says, when you fire up, you draw an artisan dragon. So I can draw from the uh, town here, uh, over here in the park. You've just got some little artisan dragons hanging out. Uh, we got someone like Cookie. We've got Frostfire and so forth. Each dragon has different abilities. Um, here, the artisan dragons, there's six types. The iron dragon, you'll get gain two of one good. Crystal dragon, gain three different goods. I like that. Potion dragon, swap a dragon in town and then fire it up. Uh, bread dragon, you get to draw an artisan dragon, which I'm, I'm doing right now. The plant dragon, gift a good to another player to gain two reputation. So I like this. In the game, there's a lot of that where you can give stuff to people, and it's very friendly. I mean, come on, this is the cutest town of dragons ever. Of course it's going to be friendly. And then finally, the meat dragon. Place um, a dragon in town. Okay, and that's uh, the town is made up of all the shops. So um, what are we going to do, friends? Do we... Uh, which And you can also draw from the deck here. But you know what? I talked about how much I like Frostfire because I can gain three different goods. So I'm going to do that. Frostfire, welcome to my crew. So I place that there. Um, those are my resources. And then the next step on the turn is may use a shop ability, if any. Now, these are all the starter shops in the game. There will be more shops coming out here. Once you fill three dragons here, you're going to place a shop anywhere face down. Then at the end of the turn, you reveal it, and that'll be another shop with more, uh, with which may have special abilities. Okay, and that's the end of my turn. Now we flip over any new shops. There are none. And then we refill the park and enchantments. We didn't take any enchantments, but we did take... A dragon so we refill there there oh you know what let me let me go with this solo so refresh refresh park which we just did reveal a dragon from the deck and place it on the first matching or wild empty slot so we open this or oh silver scale we look for a, um, a gem and these are the what we're looking at here where we're gonna slot them so is there a gem here we go clockwise and hey there's one down here can y'all oh it's off screen I'll put it right here just to show you so it is placed in potable potions. And then we continue. Move the matching non-player dragon token to that shop. So I go over here. And actually the tokens, again, in the deluxe edition have been replaced by our uh, cool little minis. And that's going to go there. Next up, if any match, uh, enchantments match the place dragon step two, choose one to add to a matching shop. So we have the um, uh, gem. We look here, and there is a gem right there. So these, you're going to place in the matching shop, and it's going to go here. So what that does is it's just going to add more resources. So if I go over here, I'm going to get three gems when I uh, uh, when I take the gather action there. So really cool. Okay, refresh uh, the enchantments and expand town. So we refresh the enchantments. There are five here, five here. Um, there are no, we don't refresh it or we don't uh, expand the town yet because we don't have any new shops. There are 12 max uh, shops. One, two, three, four, five, six are open right now. I'm going to move this back here because that's where it should be. 
Uh, but we know our little friend uh, Silver, what is his name? Uh, Silver Scale is over there. All right, so that's the end of uh, the um, uh, dummy player, basically. And let me make sure. I'm going to get the solo mode. So what's great is the solo mode. I did all my turns, and then we do the solo modes. And that's exactly what we did here. Uh, max 12 shots. The game ends when you draw or reveal the last Artisan Dragon or the last um, uh, uh, enchantment. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to take a sip of water. Because talking so much, it makes my mouth dry. So let's continue. It's back to me. Uh, so I've got to move my dragon. I can't go back to the same spot I was. I have to go to a new place. So why don't we go, let's see. So I like this because I'm going to get three gems. But again, what I'm looking for is this. I want uh, these things here. And I do want to think about, remember I forgot, think about where I can place my dragons in order to fire up stuff. So why don't we go over here? I'm going to go to the Fragile Reptile. Okay. And I'm going to t uh, gather three gems. One, two, three. By the way, the most you can have of each um, resource at the end of the turn is a max of seven res uh, goods of each type. There are six different goods. And then a max dragon um, in hand is um, six. Okay. Now, there are two different types of dragons. You have the artisan dragons and you have the special dragons. I have three artisans in my hand. I have a special one. The special dragons, there's two different kinds. You can have one that score. They're basically scoring dragons. You can score immediately with these, the one with a little circle. There's other dragons as well. Let me just show you here. Uh, like the talisman, who has a moon. Those are endgame scoring. Okay. Uh, so those are endgame. Those are... Uh, the circles are uh, immediate um, when you can't, you fulfill them and then you do them and get the points. And in the multiplayer game, all my uh, these cards would be face down. Uh, obviously, with the solo, I'm keeping them face up. But so if I complete this, I'll just like, you know, uh, exhaust it or whatever. So I know that I've um, done that already. Okay, so I've gone here to the fragile reptile. I've gathered my three um, gems. And then um, again, next on my list, is I may place a dragon and get a reward so i have this one here the gem i'm placing it here so i can either put a gem or a leaf dragon and then the reward is this item on the right side which is a coin so i'm going to do that i place it there i gather a coin from the fountain Re again nice really beautiful commodities these are heavy heavy metal these are heavy metal um coins uh, in the deluxe edition so i've got a coin and then continuing on here gather I place one, I gain the reward. I may fire up one dragon here. They're the same, so I'm gonna fire up this one, which says gather or gain three different goods. So I have three um, uh, gems, I have two toasts. So I've got a gem, I've got two toasts, and then I can use a coin to spend in place of a good. So in this case, um, maybe I, you know, I could spend it as a toast or whatever. So it says um, three different goods, there's the pugs. Um, is that another Amazon um, shipment? Good pugs, good pugs. All right, so let's see. I'm going to get three different goods. So why don't we get, let's see, um, we'll get a leaf. Oh, I'm going to be short a toast. Oh, wait, I'm going to gain a leaf, gain a toast, and then let's gain a steak as well or a meat. Okay, so there's three different things. So I'm looking at myself for enchantment. I can do this, this, and then these two here. Cool. All right, and then the final step, of course, is may use a shop ability if any, but there's none on the starter ones. And then we flip over any new shops. Uh, nope, none are need to be flipped over. And uh, got our enough resources, nothing else has changed. So that's the end of my turn. Now we continue. Uh, we go to the AI or the solo, uh, refresh the park. There's nothing to be um, changed there. Uh, they always, you have to have five here and five here. Uh, Move the non-matching. Okay, so now we have to draw. And then this is going to go to a matching spot. So we go here, the Earl. And then we take the matching dragon, which is this one. And let's see, move the matching to that shop. Okay, boom. And then if we look here, if there anything matches, we're going to place that and add it to a matching shop. So we have our choice. Uh, we're looking at the anvil. Oh, actually, no, it's just one anvil. Okay. Wait a second. If any enchantment matches the place dragon in step two. So the dragon was actually the um, uh, potion. And we do have our choice here. This one or this one. Um, why don't we go with... Let's see. We'll go with this one here. Dwarven Stout. 
and then we just match the one it goes to and it it matches over here all right so now that's going to give us more resources uh refresh um dragon's still five there we refresh here and that's the ai turn I'm back to me uh okay so no new shops yet but i could go over here oh no wait i am here what am i talking about I could go up here um i am trying to find this here okay this is swap gain one good Ooh, i could do an enchantment though an enchantment would be neat to do because when you enchant uh you're going to choose one of these and you place it on one of the shops there and then you can fire up any number of dragons so that's really cool and i think i want to do that um do i have enough i have these oh did i oh wait no three. Oh man did i get rid of that one no 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 okay i have three of these um, I have two. Oh, it was this one I was looking at. I could add it to Drockle Bell. I sort of want to make, let's bring, okay, so this one we would need, uh, we need potions and, oh, we couldn't even do the same one because I got to move first. Got to move, folks. Uh, three here. Why don't we add this to Drockle Bell? Let's see. Oh, no, I don't have any matching dragons. Okay. Well, that's a bummer dazzle i could score later that would be cool but let me see three two okay i need some more resources um so let's see got toast um why don't we go to let's get some those there okay i'm gonna go to the hello nursery to gather so gather i get two leaves one two two leaves and then i may uh place a dragon there I'm going to place olive because olive matches. So olive, I can place in either. You don't have to go left or right, just whatever matches. Uh, this one matches here. Uh, it's either a leaf or a toast. And then I get a coin. So I'm going to grab a coin. And then I may fire up one dragon from the spot. So I can either fire up olive, which says gift a good to another player to gain two reputation. Or twig, which is the same thing. Basically, all each uh, dragon has a specific ability. And that's listed on the player sheet here right? Uh, iron dragons, crystal dragons. This was a plant dragon. Okay. So I'm going to gift uh, the opponent uh, one good. And why don't we gift them, let's see, a, uh, we'll give them a leaf. So here you go, leaf. So I get two points. Okay, score there. There's a score track. Uh, two reputation. And continue on. So I fired up that one. Then there's no shop ability. So that is it. And we go to the AI refresh the park um reveal oh you know refresh the park am i supposed to oh let me reach down the instructions down here am i supposed to take reveal reveal new face of artists and dragons until there are five in the park okay so there are five there so i haven't um drawn any dragons yet, so that's why they haven't um done that yet okay so now they have to do the let's reveal this shale so we look at for one of these uh, anvils we go across clockwise and there's an anvil okay so it goes there in a drockle bell and we take the matching dragon and um to that shop and then move the uh if any of these match here which we have here joe joe forgeman <laughs> joe Forgeman. is that a play on george foreman oh my gosh and then we place this in the anvil or the iron. So that's going to go up here. Do, 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 do. And then we refresh. And that's it. Cool. All right. Back to my turn. Um, I am going to go with uh, this dragon here. So you'll notice these dragons here, like in the multiplayer games, you can still go here. It's not blocked off, but you're going to have to pay a good to whoever has those, um, uh, dra whoever's dragons those are. So what I want to do is, I want to do that enchantment thing. So I can afford an enchantment now, right? So I've got two, I got one, two, 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 two. Yes, I can do a la, la flamberge. Okay. I can do the mirror of truth. Um, or I can do this one here. Oh, this scores in sets. That's pretty cool. But why don't we come over here? Okay, so I'm going to do an enchantment. So in the enchant in the enchant phase, choose one of the enchantments that matches shop icon. So this here, pay the goods cost, gain the rewards listed, and tuck behind the shop. So I'm going to do the mirror of truth. 
Uh, this is, oh wait, do I want to do that? Yeah, I do. We can do the Mirror Truth. Now I can use coins um, in, in place of goods. So I've got, um, oh wait a second. I thought I had, I was looking at this uh, symbol here. I don't even have that. I need, gosh, uh, that, was, that was a brain fart. I need uh, potions. Okay. These potions are, I had, um, I was so, folks, uh, here, here's a friendly tip from your Uncle Ruel. When you're playing, be sure to uh, look at the symbols more closely so you know what you're doing. Um, I could do this one here, La Flamme. So I would have to go here and pay to do that. Um, I have three toasts, one of these. So I can go there to enchant. So to enchant, choose an item that matches shop icon. Okay. So I go here. Um, I'll pay um, one to go here. So if they're in a multiplayer game, there's two dragons, you have to pay a one a good each. But I'm going to pay the one here. And then I'm going to pay one gem, two plants, and three bread to do this. And it's going to go tuck behind here. And I get six reputation. So up to eight now. That tucks in there. And continue on the enchantment. Then you may fire any number of dragons here. So I'm going to fire up both of them. Um, first, I'm going to place a dragon in town. I'm going to take Elderberry. Oh, man. Okay, so this one, i got to look for one that matches. Um, we'll go here. And the reward is um, getting a... Oh, do I get that reward too? Let's see. Um, I think I... Let me see. Do I have this on my notes? When I go and grab or place one because of an ability do i grab the um reward as well i don't think i do i think that's only when you actually do the place action but if anyone knows uh type it in the uh, comments uh here on youtube and um you know we'll make a note of that okay so i'm just going to do that that's going to complete that shop and uh what was i doing uh enchanting and let's see i did that oh i was doing this place a dragon in town so why don't we do, uh, why don't we look at the uh, uh, book here? It's got a really great rule book to talk about the abilities. That was Hickory, and Hickory is a meat dragon. Place an artisan. You may place your dragon on any empty slot. Uh, you gain, oh, I do gain the reward printed on a slot. Okay, so it does match. So I get a special dragon. Uh, and this is going to be one I can score. This is Twinkle. After enchantment, gain two points per enchantment of the same type in town. Cool. Don't forget, I still have Dazzle. If a shop has three dragons of the same type, gain six reputation. So that's what I'm going for here. I'm trying to get another uh, gem uh, dragon here. Or what is it? What's the uh, the crystal dragon there? So I can have all the same. Okay. So let me see. This was enchanting. And what I'm doing is I'm paying the goods. I got all that. Okay. So I fired up this one. I placed that. I got my rewards. And then I'm going to fire up Shale as well. Gain two of one good from this shop or dragon here okay so i can gain two of these or two of the anvils i'm gonna get two of the anvils so i don't have any of those yet so let's get two of those oh i've paid all these so we're gonna go back to the supply all right so i fired up that one i fired up that one uh, i believe that's it for enchantment right uh yep and then we flip over here okay and uh let me see i still have two 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 good to go and um, now it's the end of my turn, and I have to flip over a new shop. So first of all, I have to bring in a new shop. Um, tell you what, I'm going to bring the new shop. You can bring it in any empty space. I'll do it there. But now I'm going to flip it over because I'm doing one because this has been filled. Funky Brewsters. I love that name. So this one has a special ability. Take a dragon here to hand, replace with a park dragon, and then fire the new one. Ooh. Okay, I like that. That's cool. All right. Uh, so that's the end of my turn. Uh, now we go to the AI. And again, the solo AI. Refresh the park. It's good there. Reveal one from the deck. And we're going to go clockwise to find a potion. Do, 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 do. There it is. Right here on Funky Brewsters. Okay. Uh, take the matching dragon non-token. So this one matches. Uh, oh, wait. That was Shale. We want... Um, where is... Uh, this one here. Uh, Jasmine. Oh, what am I doing? So it was Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine's this one. So it goes here to block. 
and then if any matches um the dragon token so this was the um this token here i have my choice Ooh, what do i want to do we'll do this one here that's going to go there so funky brewsters now has three potions you can get to uh refresh and expand the town um we were expanded for that one we are good refresh that refresh that cool all right back to me uh, i'm going to take a little sip of water and friends watching on youtube we do record this live on uh, twitch want to say hi to you all thank you for uh, joining me through this run through and thanks to everyone watching live on twitch uh nile Bari's here sea otter tvd jesse jess uh, evil turnip to live and dice in la bing 413 um all kinds of friends i'm not gonna be able to name them all but thank you again for um hanging out with this uh games of fire trio of power and all y'all thank you again for hanging out with me today so good to see you here and we are playing flamecraft and it's my turn here's my dragon here where am i going to go so i've got two gems two anvils and two coins i really want to get this one here i've got to find a way oh, i need to get some dragons here so i would like to go to the park uh, so i'll probably gather and gather this is uh i can draw dragons here with critical roles i, I love that name critical roles okay we're gonna go there so I, I can draw a dragon from here and hopefully set myself up and i will get toast let me see oh let me see if i can do i can fire up or i can add one of these here i've got this the wraith rose which would go up there yeah oh i need a okay so i need three gems which i have two anvils which i have and then a um potion again i'm using coins to fill fulfill that okay that would be pretty cool and then this of these powers here gift okay so that's the ones where i have to gift uh, these are swappy swaps these are gain i i really like to gain three different resources but i do want to find some dragons so why don't i go here i'm going to gather at critical rolls i get two toast one two one two and then i'm going to draw i i get to fire up one, fire one dragon so i'm going to fire this one i'm going to draw I'm going to draw a blind off here because, oh wait, no, here's a cookie. That can get me to draw more. Yeah, you know, I'm going to take, oh, I am still trying to find the uh, gem one. So I'm going to take cookie here in the hand and then, um, and that's my turn, right? Because I've gathered, maybe you, there's no shop ability. Oh, there's a shop ability here. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool why don't we do this Let, let's oh let, let's back up folks we're gonna rewind this turn yeah i'm gonna rewind so i'm not here i was uh no you know what i i've i've made up my mind I, i'm gonna take that i will take this one here cookie okay into hand we, re, we refresh there's another there's loaf so i've got my two bread i've fired up that one and then i've done that to clean that up or i mean to refresh what is that is that an emergency call ah okay um so i got a lot of distracted there uh mayfire okay then no shop ability end of my turn i've my resources my dragons are okay and now it's the ai's turn refresh the park uh reveal from the deck and then we go clockwise for brisket hey brisket's gonna go here and then we're taking brisket to go here now nothing happens uh, since i'm already there it's all it's uh no worries and we take a matching toast here because that's where they are oh wait no no no, no. it is if any enchantment matches the place dragon so this is the butcher or the meat one and it doesn't okay so we don't do anything we expand the town we've already expanded the town previously so it's back to me i like the solo version it's it's pretty easy to uh for upkeep so let me see here i'm going to go with um oh emergency alert system thank you games of fire um this has been all taken care of Wait a second. Uh, move the matching non dragon, which I did. If any mesh, uh, they do not match. So refresh and expand. Okay, cool. 
back to me. I'm going to move down to, did I want to move? Where was the one I wanted to move to? Um, now I can get all kinds of goodies here. Let me see. What do I have? I can do this and these. Okay. So do I want an enchant? I still need dragons though. Where can I put these dragons? I can put cookie. Where's the toe? Ooh, over there on Hello Nursery. But Hello Nursery, okay, if I go here, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I wanna draw a dragon. So I'm gonna, this is the one I wanna go to. Funky Brewsters. And then the order operations are gonna do the ability last. So I'm gonna take, go over here. I'm gonna to have to pay um, this dragon one, so I'm gonna pay him a toast. And then I'm gathering, so I gain goods. I've gained one, two, three potions over here. One, two, three potions here. Uh, I may place um, place a dragon and gain rewards. So I'm gonna place this matching toast for cookie, and I'm gonna gain a special dragon. Uh, this is matches. This is end game scoring one point for each starter shop with a matching icon. Okay. Again, these are the starter ones. They're, they have a different back. And as long as they match there. Now, there are times when they're going to move around, which you'll see. Um, but that for now is going to, I'll be scoring that. Okay. And then I may fire up one dragon here. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to do this one here. Um, ooh. Okay, I could swap in town. Uh, you know, I'll do this. I'll draw one from the top of the deck. It is fondue. Oh, fondue, so cute. And so I've done that. Now I may use one shop ability. So it says take a dragon here to hand, replace with a park dragon, and fire the new one. So I can fire up any of these here. Um gain a good gain two of goods gift another swap ooh so let's see do i want to take hmm i can take you know what i'll do i'll take this one in the hand cookie replace it with a park dragon and replace it with lavender okay and then fire the new one so swap a dragon in town and fire it so I can do this. So this is really interesting. It's like a little back and forth here. Uh, so swap this one with a dragon in town, which is going to allow me to. Oh, this is funny. Okay. Do I swap it back with loaf so I can draw a dragon? I think I will. Uh, I'm going to draw from here. And there, hey, I just uh, picked up Moonbeam. Yay. So I've got that fun little turn there. I See, I really like these uh, abilities that come into the shops. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. Let's look at, um, that was gather. So now end of turn, I've got, I'm under my limits and then refill. So this refills here, enchantments are good. And then we go to the AI's turn. Uh, AI is going to refresh the park, we're good. Reveal a dragon from the deck. And then we go left to right. Oh, there it is, critical rolls, it matches here. So that one's gonna stay, because that's where it is. We're gonna get a new shop face down. Okay. Uh, move the matching non-player token there. If any matches, we're going to grab that. So anything that matches this here, there's none. And then refresh and expand the town. So, boom, we have saving throw. And this one, the special abilities, place a dragon in town. If you fill a shop, gain four points. Oh, man, I like that. I like it. But I have a plan. I had a plan. I'm going to go here uh, to gather and place so or do i want an enchant no i want to get the point so i'm going to go here to gather so again gather that's where we're going to place a dragon i just had a moonbeam oh wait first i gotta get goods one two three four four of those um gems so that should be close to my limit two four so i have six gems now moonbeam goes there okay and then I can um, place a dragon there to gain the reward. Oh wait, I can't. It's oh, I've got I've got to look at here. 
Oh man, I need a um Oh man. How am I gonna get it? Oh, I was hoping so bad to get um the dragon there. So let's see, I was on Funky Brewsters. Uh so why don't I let's return the four back. And hey legends, um I need a the leaf here, but I don't have it. Now you'll notice this, uh, the um, uh, asterisk, those are wild, so it can be any symbol matches. So maybe I want to do that. Oh man, so I was I was so concerned about this, I forgot that I need this one here. So there's gonna be, a, I'm gonna have to be able to, let me see, can I, okay, I can put a gem here. I'm gonna have to find a way to swap that out to put here and that would give me uh, the points I need for, was it Dazzle? Yeah. If a shop has three dragons of the same type, gain six. Oh, that would have been nice. Hey, I've got... I, can I swap Wingnut? So how can I get this one over here? Oh, okay. Just a reminder. Um, can I swap... Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So why don't we go... Um, I want to look at the enchantments as well. I've, I can enchant... I've got one, two, three, four of the Mirror of Truth. Oh, that might be cool. Let's do an enchantment since I've got the resources. Guys, give me uh, give me some points as well. So we'll go here, gather these, one, two, three, four. So again, instead of gathering, we're enchanting now. So I'm enchanting with four. I'm going to choose this one. And this uh, depends on how many you turn in. If you turn in one set, you get zero points. You can get two sets, two points, and so forth. So I'm going to do um, one, two, and one, two. And I do have three. I have three potions. I'm going to swap in a gold as well. So I've got three sets. That's going to give me four points. One, two, three, four. And this adds this one here. Okay, so I'm paying these. Let me put these back in the supply. And the gold coin goes back to the fountain. And in enchantment, I may fire up any any number of these. So I'm going to fire up both because this is gain three different goods. So I've got a ton of gems. So let's move on. Let's see what we've got here. Got a ton of gems. I can get um, a couple of uh, a potion, um, some meats over here. Oh, leaves would be nice. So why don't we do that? For the first set, I'm going to get one leaf. They have to be three different. One leaf, uh, one anvil, and one stake. And then for the second set, I'll get one leaf. Uh, one, let me see, one anvil. And do I want a potion? Potion, well, we don't know what's coming up here. So one, you know, I'll get a, I have one toast here. I'll get another toast just, just because. Okay. So we'll do that. Got my goods. I fired up both these and let me see that didn't fill up anything. So that's the end of the turn. Fill this one. Okay. And then we go back uh, to the AI park reveal here. Uh, Suzette. Um, now this one is my color and I don't think they, let, let's recheck the rules here. I don't think um, they move mine. Let's see. If it's mine, uh, place an in move matching dragon to... Okay, cannot move the matching dragon to me. So I can't... Uh, you know, if there isn't a matching slot, draw. if you fill shop, during a step, draw a new shop. Icon matches yours. Okay, if you're currently there, do not receive a good. If the icon of the matched dragon matches a player token or the yours, if the matches your gun, don't move any tokens. Okay, so um, they're not going to move, but they do do this. They're going to find a toast slot. Um, oh, do they go to the wild slots? I don't know if they go to the wild slots or not. I'm going to say they don't. Uh, so they're going to go here. Oh, they're going to complete that. So a new shop's going to come into town. Why don't we put that shop here? Oh, we'll put it here so it's easier to see. Okay. Um, back to me. Oh, no, no. Let's finish the turn. So they've done that. Move the matching. So I they cannot move me. And then do does this match any? They do match this. So that's going to go to critical roles. Okay. So some bacon happening over there. And um, not bacon, but baking. <laughs> uh, and then they refresh and expand the town. So refresh this. And expand the town. Oh my gourd. All right. Now. 
I am going to, let's go to saving throw because I've got a match. Oh no, I don't. Oh no, I do. It's the, the wild can go over there. Yeah. Okay. Saving throw. So I'm going to gather. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Yeah. Uh, the wild matches um, that. So I place that. My reward was a coin. Okay. And then I may fire up the dragon. So draw one. Um, I can either draw here into my hand. Let me see what we got. Is there anything that matches? Um, yeah, I'll get Blossom or Dandelion or, okay, these are all the same. But I do like this one here. So then um, I've gathered, I may fire up one, which I just did. I fired that and then I may use the shop ability. Um, place a dragon in town. If you fill a shop, gain four. Okay, so in my hand right now is this one. Ooh, which one do I want to fill up? I want to fill... Um, this one here. Yeah, this is a wild. So, you know, maybe I should do the this one here. Okay. So if I fill a shop, gain four points, so up to 16. So I filled this one. And then because this is filled, we need to bring another shop in. Okay. And um, in a turn, I'm under my max for stuff. Now we refill. And it's the AI's turn. Uh, refresh that, grab one of these. It is patina, so we're looking for an anvil. It's gonna go right there. And then that one matches this one. Was there. And then we look here, are there any anvils? Nope, nothing. And that's gonna be on the turn, let refresh there. And uh, any shops that were, okay, we've expanded, oh, we were supposed to do this one. Okay. Cool. All right, my turn. Um, let's see, I am going to move. Oh, man. So what do I have here? If after enchantment gain two per, ooh, two points per the same type in town. Oh man, can I do, yeah, I can do that. One, two, um, if I do this one, there's one, two, how many leaves are there? So what I'm trying to do is look at this one here, uh, Twinkle, which would score immediately after enchanting, Gain two points for enchantment of the same type in town. So there's one, two, two potions, one, two gems, one anvil, and uh, one toast and one meat. So maybe I want to go. Hmm. Calafunk the aliens in town says, hello, nursery. Love the, love the names of the town. Funky Brewster's always cracks me up. So, you know what, folks, I gotta let you know, this is the first time I'm soloing it. I've played a multiplayer, but I've not soloed yet, except for my practice run-throughs. And um, this, I, I really like this. It's a, it's a puzzly type of game uh, as far as, you know, trying to be efficient. Um, and I know I'm not making all the best decisions, unfortunately, but having fun with it. I, I really, I mean, I, I, I love the game. Um, let's see. So I can do that one over there. I've got to move from here. Oh, this is good. Pay two gems to convert unique goods one, one to one, into points. Very cool. Um, gain two times roar from an empty slot here, or two times. Ooh, interesting. Wow, these are really really cool. Okay. Why don't we go with, so I've got three of these, two anvils, and a potion. Yeah, we'll be able to add the wraith rose there. Yeah, we're gonna go over here to the uh, Hello Nursery. Hello Nursery, and we're gonna enchant. So I've got one potion, I'll use a coin. I've got two anvils, and I've got three gems. Okay, so I'm gonna pay that to the supply. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to get six 
uh, reputation, so up to 22. This one goes over here. Okay, and I'll tuck it in later. Now, because I'm enchanted, I may uh, do any number, fire up any number of these. So first one in any order, uh, these are going to be the same twig. A gift a good to another player for two victory points. So I've, I've got an abundance of uh, these. So I'm going to gift one, two gems to my friend here. That's going to equal four points, so 26. And then uh, the, I'm going to get a dragon. Uh, Suzette is going to allow me to get a dragon I can uh, from the park. I, um, park or, yeah, let me see. I want to get, let's see. Oh, and I completed this, so we're going to bring in another town or another shop in the town. Um, I really like the swapping ones. How can I get the swapping ones out there? Because the swapping one, allow, could I go here? No. Yeah, I want lavender. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We've done this here, and then we got my under my limit. We brought the new town or new shop, so let's reveal that. Dragon tail roost. Choose a park dragon and fire it, and then draw it into hand. Ooh, that's cool. All right, so let's go over here. Um, oh, this should be there. Cutlet. So, oops. Let's find Cutlet. Okay, that's going to do that. So this is going to bring in another shop. So that is the max, 12 shops. And then we bring Cutlet over here. And then, no, oh, this one matches. So we're going to bring this into here. Okay, and let me, since I'm doing the tucking, do this here. I'm going to put this rule book down. It's holding it for some reason. Uh, part of my head in the middle of the shop here. <laughs> Need to get a bigger table and bigger cameras, more room. Okay, so as far as the end game of the solo game, it is when you have um, end game. If you draw, or reveal the last artisan dragon or enchantment. Okay, cool. So now we, we're maxed out on uh, shops. Uh, Twelve is the limit, so I'm not going to be drawing any more shops in here. Boo urns. Um, let me see. We did this, did that, and now we. Bring this out and we reveal the final shop is Drake of Cakes. Another bakery. Oh, it's funny. This street has two bakeries on either end. My type of town. And now it is back to me. So I've got some decisions to make here. Um, I can go with... Um, Dragon in town. Go here. Choose a park. And then oh, I, I, I want to try this one. I just like this. Choose a park dragon and and fire it, then draw it into the hand. So basically, I get to do it for free. Hey. Okay. Which is really cool, right? Yeah. Um, so I can do this one here. No, this is the one I want to do. Draw a... Let me see. What kind of enchantments do I have? I've got some enchantment here that I can do. Oh, if I go here... If I go back here, I get these and give two. I can swap dragon with it and fire it. Oh, I like that. That's really neat. Pretty cool. This is two toast to draw two apart dragons. Another way to get a bunch of dragons in hand, which is great. Uh, let's look at my so my end game scoring. I've got one point for each starter shop with matching icons. So I've got some that are uh, matching still. So I think we'll be okay with that. Now, this one here doesn't have an icon, right? Um, so I'm not going to be able to uh, add things to this dragon tail roost. But these I do. Uh, and then the starter ones, again, these are the ones, as long as these match with what's there, haven't moved in, I'll get points. The ones I can score in-game immediately after enchantment, gain two points per um, uh, enchantment in uh, same type in town. And this one's, if a shop has three dragons of the same type, gain six points. So that one's going to require some manipulation. But if I do this twinkle, I come over here and do this. Um, where can I do that? Oh, oh, over here, tip the scales. Yeah, we're going to go there. Okay, let's go here to enchant. Right? 
that is this one here. Oh, I don't even have enough. What, what am I doing? I don't even have enough for that. I need to go somewhere where it's going to give me um, a bunch of uh, potions and stuff. And here's one here. Now, I do have to give up something. That's okay. I'm going to go here, give up a leaf in order to gather. I got one, two, three potions and two toasts. So let's get three potions. One, two, three. And two toasts. One, two. Then I may fire up one of the dragons here. I can do this to swap a dragon and fire it. Ooh. And just to make sure, why don't we look at the rules? Again, I really love this rule book. It's super clean. I, I mean, I, I love the big, the big pages too. You know what? I could probably do. Um, oh wait, if can I swap? Okay, Jasmine is a swapping. Ignore the icons. Ooh, I'm gonna do that. So when you swap, you can ignore icons, and that's where I'm gonna be able to um, do that. Oh, I'm so slow down, Ruel. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna swap this and fire it. So I'm gonna swap this with Cookie up here. Is that what I want to do? Yes. Go here, and I get to fire it. I get to draw a dragon. Um, I want to draw. Let me draw a hot dog. No, wait, wait. Is it coal? Yeah. Let me draw coal into my hand. And then, now that I have three of the same type, I can score Dazzle. If Shop has three of the same type, I get six points. Woo! So six plus 26 is 32. Again, I've moved everything down just so it's a little easier to see. And um, we're going um, to you know get to that. I would, it would be up uh, higher so you could see. But again, for camera purposes. So I've done this. Normally in the uh, multiplayer game, you would reveal it. But because I'm playing solo, I'm going to exhaust it like this. So I know I've done that. Cool. Yay. So I've gathered. Um, I've done. Uh, oh, so I've gathered. I've done that. I did that ability. I fired one. Now I can do the shop ability. Take a dragon here to hand, replace with a park dragon, and fire the new one. That might be cool. So I've already done this. So now I can. It doesn't matter if it's all the same, to me at least. I can um, take a dragon and fire the new one. So I can place a dragon in town. Okay. Or I can gift, get points. I can place this one is gift a, okay. Oh, <sighs> replace with a park dragon, place a, Okay, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Do I have... No, I don't have the meat one. Um, I have a gem, which will allow me to get two coins. I always like coins. I can get points as well. Um, so many options. I can fill that one with... Ooh. Interesting. Now, you know what I, I've got to do? Uh, so I'm going to do this ability. Take a card here to hand. So we'll take Cookie. Cookie, you've been, you're going all over the place. So Cookie is a rambunctious little dragon. Uh, replace it with a park dragon. So I'm going to replace this one with Hot Dog. And Hot Dog goes here. And place a dragon into town. Uh, so I'm going to place Coal. Is that the one I want to place? No, coal. I wanted. I wanted to get the coins, so I'm gonna place. Is it herb? Ooh, that would give me three points though. Uh, this one. Yeah. Let's get the coins. Um. So moonbeam is gonna go here. It matches that symbol, so I am going to get the coins. Two points. One, two. One, two. And fire that. That was the end of my turn. Yay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's refresh this. Go to the AI. Um, reveal from the deck over here. Rusty. It is a um, iron dragon. So we go along here, finding the iron. Boom. So I wonder if the, the again, a note we'll have to make uh, in the video here is if um, the wild one take uh the dragon here so they're gonna fill up this one then they're gonna take rusty is um this guy is here to block 
and then does this match it doesn't match any so i'm not going to do that and it's back to me where am i going to go with my dragon there's a bunch of gems here so if i could enchant can i enchant here if i enchant this one i need three uh, two meats and a toast yeah i can enchant okay we're going to go here back to the fragile reptile to enchant i'm going to do the ring of destiny so i need one toast uh, two meats, so I've got one meat, and I'll use a coin for the second. Then I need three potions, which I have. Uh, we're going to go here. Okay. And then I can score that. Okay, let's finish the enchantment phase first. So choose that, pay the goods, gain the rewards listed, and tuck behind the shop. So the rewards for this one was uh, six points. Uh, so 38. I wonder, did I give all my... I, I might have forgotten to give myself points on a couple of these um, things here. I did that one. So folks on YouTube, if you catch me, let me know in the comments and we'll make a note of that. All right, so I've done that, I got my points and then I may fire any number of dragons. So I like that because I, I'm able to, you know, get three resources of any goods twice uh, of any type. So why don't we get, um, we'll get another meat and we'll get an anvil. And for the third one, um, let's get a gem. And then the second time around, uh, for the second dragon, they're both the same. Uh, three different goods. Let's get a meat again. I'm looking at you, Willow Wasp, Willow Wisp. And then I have a gem here, so let's change it up a little. Let's get another anvil. And I have toast. Why don't we get another leaf, just in case. Um, what other resources? No, let's get a potion just in case. Maybe the potion will come in handy. Okay, so I fired up those. Take these in the hand. They're below my limit. But hey, I've got Twinkle now. After enchantment, gain two victory points, two reputation per um, enchantment of the same type in town. So I've got one, two, three. Three of the same type, so six points. So from 39 to 45. And Twinkle, you've been scored, so we're going to exhaust you like that, my friend. Uh, now we have matches at the end of the game. Uh, one point for each star shop. We've talked about that, the matching icon. Uh, let's go back to the AI here. Uh, they refresh these. So getting close to the end game here, folks. Cinnabon. <laughs> oh, I love Cinnabon. Okay, Cinnabon's going to the toast. Uh, there's that. And then because it's my color, it's not going to uh, move there. Doesn't move. Does not move my uh, token. Oh, let me get these out of the way. Spent these already. And then what we do next is uh, oh, this coin should go here. Um, I don't move. Uh, the The town has been expanded to its max, so we're done. It's back to me. Um, do I want to enchant again? I have a couple of these. I can. I do have enough with the coins there. Um, I mean, I like these here. Any one here, I'm going to get a bunch of points. Oh, I could go here as well. To place. Or do I want to gather? Gathering would be cool. Um, let's go to the Drake of Cakes. Drake of Cakes. I do love my bakery, so we're there. And uh, we're going to place... Uh, we're going to gather, so I'm going to need one, two toasts. Two toasts. Because I want to place a dragon there. Um, lavender is going to go here. Okay. And I get to uh, fire up any dragon. So I'm going to fire um, lavender, which is swap this dragon, swap, swap with a dragon in town and fire it. So any one of these I can fire up. Um, I can get two of the goods. I can get three different goods, or I can place a dragon in the town, which I like. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. That way we can get closer. Nope. Oh, I have to match the icon, though. Oh, here's some over here I can do. Yeah. Okay. We're going to swap this one with hot dog. Okay. And I get to fire it. So that is place a dragon in town. And I'm going to take, um, is it herb or 
I can take uh, coal. Nope, herb it is. Herb is um, this one here. I'm going to place them in tip the scales. Okay. Uh, do I get to fire it? No. Uh, I place it here. And then I have the reward is get a special dragon. So another scoring one. Oh, this is in-game scoring. Taylor. Um, Taylor Dragon Swift uh, is when placing a dragon, gain one victory point for each same type. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. So I'm going to get a point for error. Oh, that's good. Okay. So I've gathered. I may use the shop ability. So let's see. Pay two toasts, which I have. I'll pay two toasts to draw two park dragons. Okay. I like that. I like it a lot. So if I place, let me see what I have here. Uh, there are a bunch of potion ones. Oh, I have this one already. I already have an uh, iron dragon. So if I have the meat one, that's going to be, oh yeah. Let's take potato. Some people call them potato. And they, uh, they have a sister named tomato or tomato. Uh, then I can take blossom as well. Um, hmm. Blossom, who just happens to be the host of Jeopardy. Y'all get my jokes? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of water for that one. So I'm going to be able to get two of these. I will take, um, yeah, I'll take Blossom and Potato. All right. That's the ability. Um, I'm within my limits and I'm done. So let's refill this one, two. Ooh, very close to ending. Uh, this is good. Now we go here to the AI. They're going to reveal this one. It is Jewel Heart. So we go along here until we find a gem, which is here. Again, I may be playing that wrong as far as I maybe I, I place it here in the wild. So I don't, uh, you know, as much as I love this rule book, I don't know if it says a place of dragon going clockwise or is wild. Darn it. So I have been playing wrong. Folks, all that stuff here. Um, that I've been doing, I should have been placed in the wild. So apologies, rewind, you know, play this. I, I'm playing with an asterisk this time. And uh, folks on YouTube, I do record this live. So it, it's, it can be a bit much. I don't edit uh, because I want you all to get the feeling of, hey, I'm playing the game with Ruel. He's making mistakes, but, you know, we're shouting at him. It's like, hey, you made this, did this wrong. And, you know, as I do these things, Imagine Eric, thank you. Imagine Eric gets my jokes. <laughs> All right, so let's continue here. I've got, so we know now that when I'm placing in the solo game, I should have been placing here, but we're going to continue. I'm going to play it, you know, the way I played it out. Uh, that one's gone here, and now that dragon is going to move over here. Move, dragon! And then that one does not match any of the enchantments, so their turn is done. And uh, back to me. What's the thing I wanted to do? Oh, I wanted to try to do this one. Taylor. Taylor Swift Dragon, when placing a dragon, gain one for each type in that town. So I can place potato or potato. That would be one, two, three, four, five. Or I can place Blossom, the Jeopardy host. Uh, plant dragons, one, two, three. Okay, we're definitely placing potato, potato. Um, we're probably going to have to do the wild thing here. Ooh. Oh, man, these are so good. Let's go here to... Oh, my gourd! Um, we are going to gather. So I'm gathering one, two... Resource. I'm gathering a plant. Plant. And a gem. All right. So let's see, it's back to my turn. I am going to go, let's move my guy. Let me see, what did I want to do? Um, I do want to place, using Taylor, I can score Taylor getting points based on the same type. So I'm trying to place um, potato or potato. Um, maybe I can place them over here. So I'd place face down. Oh, interesting. So I would lose that. Now, you know what? Okay, we're going to go to Drakes of Cakes and place Potato because um, this icon, it's a wild. Uh, so I'm going to get two victory points. So let me move these up here. Ah, 
one, two, so up to 47. And then I'm gathering, oh wait, let me gather first. So two toasts and a, did I get that already? Two toasts and a meat? I don't know if I did. So two toasts and meat, then I place potato. And then I can fire up one of the dragons. Uh, so I can place, basically place a dragon in town um, and get a reward. I'm gonna go over here. So I'm gonna put Blossom here and I'm gonna get a special dragon, another scoring one. Um, and then I can do the scoring ones. So let's see. Let's start with Taylor first. When placing a dragon, gain one for each same type of the town. So I place potato, potato. Uh, so the that's a meat dragon. So one, two, let's uh, start here. One, two, meat, three, four, five, six. Six meat dragons, six points. So going from 47 to 53, and I turn that over to show the 50. So I have done that. Um, so I turn, I show Taylor's been done. Now Frazzle, if any two shops have all six dragon types, gain six points. Ooh. So I have to have, let me see, do I have, no, every single one has like two of the same. Darn it. Okay, so I'm going to have to manipulate some dragons before to get that one. All right. Uh, and then I can use the shop ability so I can pay two toasts to get two park dragons. So I'm going to pay the two toasts and let's see, I'm going to try to, uh, I want to get different ones. I'm going to get thistle and, um, get cookie. Okay. So that goes, those go there. And then, oh, I have reached the point of the end of the game because I've drawn the last dragon. And let's see what happens here. Let's go to the rule book and make sure I got everything correct here. Um, the rule book says the end game, if you draw or reveal the last artisan dragon on any time of your turn, finish the current turn, then play one more full turn before proceeding to end game scoring. At your end of your turn, uh, final turn, do not place a non player artisan dragon or cast a non player enchantment. Okay. Cool. So that was the end of my turn. I finished the current turn. Oh, okay. I have to finish the current turn by doing the AI's turn. So they cannot refresh any more of these. That's done. Uh, they're going to pull from here. Oh, they're pretty much done then. I play another full turn. That for me. Okay. Right? Or do I just end it here? Oh, man. It says... One, uh, finish my turn at any time, finish the current turn, which I did play one more full turn before. Okay. So I'm going to play one more full turn. So let me see what I can score. Uh, two shops of three different types. I'm going to have to manipulate some of these. How can I, so if I can place one here, um, I can swap. So I do this one here. I can swap with another one in town. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Maybe if I go here, yeah. No, nope, that won't work. I can swap that. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Go in here. Oh, do I want to enchant? Maybe I want to enchant. No, because i got to fire up this dragon. I'm going to go here. I'm here, so I have to pay that dragon uh, something. I'm going to pay a toast. Um, and then I'm going to place this one here to gain a reward. Here. Oh, wait, let me, let me get, I, I get two gems and a plant. Okay, two gems and a plant. I'm going to place this one here because it matches, it's a wild. Okay, I may fire up one dragon. I'm going to fire up Thistle, swap with a dragon in town and fire it up. So I'm going to swap this one with Hot Dog over here. And hot dog, I place a dragon in town. So I can do hmm. Hot dog. Place a dragon in town. Do I want to go over here? No, I can't match that. Okay, there's a bunch here I can match. I'm gonna match. Oh, you know what? I'll do this over here. I'll go here. And it says to place it face down. I get three victory points, three reputation. One, two, three. Okay, so I've done that. Now, Frazzle says if any two shops have all six types, gain six points. So this one has one, two, three. It has three different types here. And also here, one, two, three. I was able to manage to do that. So six victory points. Thank you, Frazzle. 
So 6 uh, here up to 12. So that is 50, 62. Okay. Um, and then I may use the shop ability of any. So pay 2 to convert unique goods. Okay. 2. Pay 2 of these to convert unique goods 1 to 1 into. Okay. Tip the scales. Let's take a closer look at that. I feel like I don't totally... I think I know what it's saying, but I want to make sure. Let's go to the dragons. Um, clarification. Uh, fancy dragons. I always call them special dragons. They're fancy dragons. So let's see. Um, what is it? Um, or no, not. I'm not looking. I'm looking at shops. Uh, tip the scales. You may trade up to six unique goods, one of each type. You may spend coins on this ability, but it will not increase your score since they are worth one. Oh, got it. Okay. So pay two. To convert unique goods. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, do I have the six? I do have the six. Okay. So I pay two of these to convert unique goods one to one. So I get six more points by converting these goods. Okay. Six points. So up to 18. All right. Cool. And then I think that's it. Well, let me see. I've done that. I may use the shop ability, which I did, and I'm done. Okay, now, end game scoring. End game. I think I have matches left. Yeah. So what am I at right now? I've got 50, 60, 68 right now. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, can I get to 75, folks? Because that's the magic number. 75 is the magic number because I can unlock an achievement. So I need to get 75. I'm seven points away, friends. Oh, can I do it? I don't think I can. It's going to be short. So matches is my final uh, Fancy Dragon scorer. One for each starter shop with a matching icon. So. Starter shop. Not a starter shop. Starter shop. That doesn't match. Oh, wait, is this? No, not a starter shop. Starter shop. Not a starter shop. Starter starter oh that's one two three four five. Oh, that's right i don't have oh no six there's only six starters in the thing so six points i'm gonna get to 74 <laughs> one point short oh my goodness folks if you're watching us on youtube please let me know if i scored correctly maybe i you know what it did i mean i did do the one thing wrong where i didn't place the drag the you know opponent's dragons the wild spots that could have changed things but hey not a bad game uh thank you so much for watching this has been the solo run through of flamecraft very fun game if you're watching on twitch stick around because i'm going to give away a copy see folks if you're on youtube watching this thank you so much for watching but come on over click on the link below in the description and watch me on twitch because i give away games thanks to our awesome sponsors and this time it's lucky duck want to thank them for a copy of the game want to thank you for watching be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and until next time i'll see you later here on tabletop tonight bye friends